Our second panel explored non-ML uses of SIGOPT. One of the exciting parts of building SIGOPT is its capacity to work in a broad set of fields. I mentioned earlier the sciences. We had both industry and academia speaking in this panel about how SIGOPT can be used to design materials and structures in an efficient fashion. We also discussed the cultural shift in the experimental design community towards adaptive experimentation, away from the classic full factorial designs. We had an interesting discussion about what action SIGOPT and other players in the space can take to help facilitate that shift. An important shift because this design process also often involves extremely expensive fabrications or computational experiments. And the more sample efficient that these can be, the better the resulting materials will be.